Dear aspirants, welcome to the Doc Tutorials Quick Learning Bites. Today's forensic medicine learning bite is negative autopsy and obscure autopsy. Look at this question. If the cause of death is unknown, even after detailed examination and investigation, it is known as. Many of you ask me a question and you say the answer given is negative autopsy. Let me teach you what exactly the difference between negative and obscure autopsy. 2 to 5 percent of autopsies are negative autopsy and here absolutely no findings after, after external and internal examination, histopathological examination and chemical analysis. Opinion as to the cause of death cannot be given. Okay, why? That is because of the functional failure of a vital tissue or organ. Say for example, if a person dies of vagal inhibition or laryngospasm, absolutely no findings. Now, what is obscure autopsy? Here, minimal findings will be there, but minimal findings are not clear cut, but cannot correlate with the cause of death, even after external internal examination, histopathological examination and chemical analysis. Opinion as to the cause of death cannot be given at all. Now, see what exactly the difference. Opinion as to the cause of death cannot be given in negative autopsy cannot be given in obscure autopsy the difference is in negative autopsy absolutely no findings whereas obscure autopsy there are minimal findings that is the difference in an autopsy if there are no findings even after detailed examination and investigation it is known as negative autopsy because no findings at all now you see here, in an autopsy, if there is minimal findings but cannot correlate with the cause of death, now the answer is obscure autopsy. At the same time, if the cause of death is unknown even after detailed examination and investigation, it can be either negative autopsy or obscure autopsy. Understood? To attain knowledge every day, Stay tuned to Dr. Tutorial's quick learning bites on social media. Login for success.